A lot of people have asked me how our soldiers speak came into being and in actual fact I can answer that this day as I look back to 10 years ago during the events of the second Lebanon war because as part of my brigade I'd gone into Lebanon several times and withdrawn several times and on one particular occasion as we crossed back into Israel my captain did the oddest thing. He divided our group into two. 89 soldiers to one side and myself to the other side. And he said to me, Benjamin, you have to go over there and sit for interview. There's a reporter from the Times of London. He's over there on the grass verge. Go and tell him what's going on in the battlefield. And I resisted. I said, I have no interest whatsoever in sitting for interview. I just returned from a combat zone. It's a traumatic experience. I didn't much feel like talking. And he looked me in the eye and he said to me, Benjamin, I'm not asking you I'm ordering you, go over there and sit for interview. And so I sped on my heel and I went over to that reporter and it was in the midst of that conversation with the journalist that I realized that really nobody was doing this, that there was nobody speaking from the position of experience in the language of the readership in real time and a real fire about what was going on in the battlefield. And as a direct result of that, knowing that there was a need, our soldiers speak was established and born. So quite simply, I took the road a little less traveled by, and that has made all the difference.